Here's a fun and easy DIY project. A Bluetooth controlled LED lamp using an Adafruit Feather 32U4 Bluefruit LE and NeoPixel ring. The NeoPixel ring can be controlled with the Adafruit Bluefruit LE Connect app for iOS or Android, so you can change the color of the LEDs or trigger different animations. You'll need only a few parts to build this project, and we have everything linked below in the description. The Adafruit Feather 32U4 Bluefruit LE is an all-in-one Arduino-compatible plus Bluetooth low energy with built-in USB and battery charging. The enclosure is 3D printed and available to download and modify. And if you don't have access to one, you can send the files to a service like 3dhubs.com. You can get the Arduino libraries and sketch for this project by checking out the guide on the Adafruit learning system. Let's start by preparing the wires. They'll need to be about 8 centimeters in length. Next, strip the ends of each wire by removing 4 millimeters of insulation. Tin the wires by heating them up using the tip of the soldering iron. This prevents the stranded wires from fraying and it makes connections easier. We only need 5 wires for this project and they don't need to be different colors, but it does help keep track of connections. Now let's connect the wires to the slide switch. It's easier to do this if the leads are tinned first. Pieces of heat shrink tubing insulate the exposed connections. Connect the remaining wires to the NeoPixel ring. One of the wires from the slide switch connects to the ground pin on the NeoPixel ring and the other connects to the enable pin on the Adafruit Feather. The ground power and data wires from the NeoPixel ring connect to the appropriate pins on the Adafruit Feather. Tap the two mounting holes on the Adafruit Feather using machine screws so that they barely poke through the bottom of the board. Next, insert the board and hold it in place. Then, fasten the screws into the standoffs with mounting holes. The cutout in the case allows you to recharge the LiPo battery and upload code through the micro USB port. You can install the slide switch by inserting it into the cutout on the opposite end of the USB port. The NeoPixel ring sits on top of the circular mount and it just press fits into place. This simple diffuser cover keeps the components in place and it goes in the middle of the NeoPixel ring. The cover topper has threads on the edges, so you can simply twist it onto the case just like a bottle cap. And there you have it, a Bluetooth controlled NeoPixel lamp. This makes a great addition to any workspace or living area and it's portable so you can place it just about anywhere. Thanks so much for watching and if you like this project, be sure to subscribe for more DIY projects from Adafruit.